Alright guys, so I want to start off by saying if you already have the ability to make the dig site pendants, I'll put a timestamp in the description for where to go to skip to the video. Alright guys, so now you've handed in your dig site pendants, okay? Right, the next step is to get some ruby necklaces and then enchant them. So to enchant them, you'll need level 49 magic, one cosmic rune and five fire runes or a fire staff uh, just simply cast level three enchant on the ruby necklace now you can either wait and now jagex has added the feature to automatically do it or you can manually click them and it'll do it much faster so either click all these however many you do i recommend just doing as many as you can i mean you go through them quite fast to be honest um, one charge essentially every 50 minutes if you do your braid house runs frequently and then now you have your dig site pendant and it'll teleport you to all the spots you won't have lith lithkern yet that's only for rune dragons so i'm not going to bother covering that in this video but we'll just get to the next part now all right guys so i'm not gonna really talk too much for this thing I'll make this as simplified uh, or as quick as i can so first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to have done the dig site quest which i believe is a prerequisite to this anyway and you'll need to have done bone voyage so once you have those you can access fossil island and you can follow all these steps and do it so if you've done the quest you'll want to go to uh, varak and then we're going to go to the museum which Crazily enough, most people don't know where it is, so we're going to go there now. So it's right here. Okay. After you've done the quest, you can go through this little gate right here. You can... The guard will talk to you, say yes. He'll let you in. Now, I'm not going to because I've already done this, and it'll just be more shit I have to drop later. But take from the tools, it'll give you everything you need. And then you can clean from the specimen table. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You take the dig site rocks. When you get the rocks, it'll just fill up with random stuff in your inventory. Clean it off here. Uh, bonus is you talk to this guy and he'll t tell you which ones are which. And if you find the right ones, you can put them in the display case and you'll also get kudos. Now, what you want, though, from this is to get yourself a clean necklace. When you get the clean necklace, that's what you need, and then you give it to one of these archaeologists, and then from that point on, you can enchant ruby necklaces into dig site pendants. Okay, so I don't have to explain this part because you do this for part of the quest anyway. So go back to the dig site um, board with the travel guide, okay? And this is how you get to Fossil Island. So, let's see, where is the exit? I'm actually not sure where the exit is. Oh yeah, I think you just... Talk to him, take you to the expedition camp. And now we are here. So let me take a look here, okay. So right here is where you want to be going first, okay? This agility shortcut right here. So that's where we're gonna go ahead and go, and I will come. Well, I'll run there with you guys, actually. Okay, so here's where you get off the boat. Okay, uh, all you gotta do is click on the map right here. That's it. I mean, there's nothing more to it than that. All you gotta do is click the map. It'll run there, and then we'll cover the next part. People have always asked me to be show the path that I take to get there, so I'm gonna leave this running in there, and we'll keep this into the footage. So now, just keep following the path up here. Climb up this ladder. Okay. Climb up this ladder. Just keep following the ladder. Go back down. I also recommend a stamina potion, by the way. And then you just simply keep following this all the way through. And then you'll get to... Hang on. Let's wait for it. I'm going to drink my stamina pot. Go up the staircase right here. And you will now be in this room. You'll see this strange machine. Use your dig site pendant on the machine and it'll bind it 
to your dig site pendant, and then it'll allow you to teleport to Fossil Island, which will teleport us straight to the spot where we are standing. Technically, it'll spawn us like right here, or over there. But it, so that, and then so this will this is how you do your birdhouse runs. This mushroom magical mushroom tree is how you get to the other spots. So we'll cover those now. All right, guys. So instead, so. The magic mushroom trees can be found right here. Uh, it'll be the like travel symbol. Like if you're in a, another place, it'll be like the symbol as you can see there. It'll be like the boat symbol if you're doing a quest or a charter ship. So as you can see right here, this this opening where we had gone to the place where you did your dig site pendant. Okay, you can see us right here. We are this this spot right here. So. I'll go ahead and walk you through it. So go, just go back exactly where we were at previously. Now for you, you'll have to teleport back to the dig site guy and then travel on the boat back here. So this is where you'll start again at the boat, the rowboat right there. Okay, go back up the same way, and then I'll and then I'll walk you through how to get there now. So it's real simple. Just go north. Okay. Just keep going north from that point and as you can see on the map now at the top top right right here is the magic mushroom or mush tree looks like this all you do is click use it this menu will pop up and now you can click on it this one is mushroom meadow so this will be option number four okay so for your birdhouses your birdhouses, um, you'll be setting them up here. Okay, when you add, you'll have a space, it'll say build space. So this will be the spot number one. So when you teleport to the fossil island in that room, the way we enchanted the dig site pendant, you run north to the mush tree, click on the fourth option, and it'll take you right there. And then you empty your birdhouse or build your birdhouse if you haven't. You'll need, I recommend wild blood seeds, just stack up on a bunch of wild blood seeds. And then you can bird your birdhouse. I would tell you guys which one to do, but I can't because it differs for your level. You can click the birdhouse right here. In order to lay your birdhouse, all you need is the birdhouse of your level that you can do. And you need some seeds. You also need a clockwork for each birdhouse. I think. I'm not totally sure on that actually. I know you get a clockwork and nests or usually every birdhouse you do. So if you're level 14, buy oak birdhouses. If you're level 5, buy the normal ones off the Grand Exchange. And you'll need wild blood seeds or there's other seeds, but I just recommend wild blood. You need 5 per birdhouse. So there's 4 spots, so you need 20 in total. So that's birdhouse number 1 over there. Birdhouse number 2 is okay there's the mush tree again to the north you just run south and here's birdhouse number two okay now there's two more birdhouses and we'll get to that in a sec when we come back in the next clip all right so this one's quite a bit of a run and that's why i left this one out so once again go back with your dig site pendant to the guy at the dig site rather than fossil island well, actually, no, you don't have to, because now you'll have that. Yeah, just run south. You'll be fine. And it's all the way over here. So just for the sake of it, we'll run there on the map for you guys. But um, it's quite a far run. So just use your map. Just go south. It's actually not as far as I thought. And then it's right down in here. So click down on in there. Okay, it's actually a bit far because apparently you got to run the hoy according to this. But again, nothing, a little stamina potion won't help. So run down through here. And then as you can see, there's spot number one. There's always somebody there. So there's birdhouse area one and birdhouse area two. Oh yeah, that was kind of, yeah, that was actually pretty far because Jagex makes me run the whole way. So there's birdhouse number one. Also some um, iron ore rocks. You can three three spot tick mine if you're that kind of person. So birdhouse one, birdhouse two, same thing as before. Make sure you use the magic mushroom tree. 
okay? And then after that again, you can just teleport. So when you use your dig site pendant, it'll take you to here. Once you can do it with Fossil Island, it'll actually take you there, but hang on, I'll show you guys just to be as 100% as possible. It'll take you here, realistically. Run north for a full tree run, birdhouse run, I'm sorry. Use number pad two or click Verdant Valley. It'll take you here. Empty, empty, or build, build. Yeah, once again, I don't need a hammer. I believe a clockwork for each one at the start. And a birdhouse, and then your seeds. From that point though, you do not need anything else. All you need every time after you built them is your seeds. I recommend just wild blood, wild blood seeds, five each per birdhouse. And then you need your birdhouses. So you only need 20 wild blood seeds. Or maybe it's over 20, I don't know. Just take 100, it doesn't really matter. You'll, you'll need a lot anyway, if you do this. And every 50 minutes, you can do your birdhouses. Now, so basically come here, and then after this, all you need, after you've built them all, just bring 100 wild blood seeds and four of the birdhouses of your level. Empty, empty, build, build. I mean, just build it once you empty it, but empty, build, empty, build. Click here, number four, and we already covered the spots. So that's all there is to it. So if this guide helped you out, like the video, share, and drop a comment. And I will see you later.